Is it a dumb idea to ride the train for three hours then turn around and ride back? I have the day off tomorrow and I'm bored. I just discovered that the train goes through many cities and I need something to do besides lay in bed all day. It sounds like an adventure but also kinder of dumb because I have no destination. Also it's free for me. For everyone who keeps saying my sister sucks, she meant the main character as being a good main character of the start of a story not a self-centered person. I don't see what the issue is so long as you make sure to get on the right trains and don't get stranded somewhere. Heck yeah do it. Pack some snacks, download some podcasts. Find a seat with a good view. Do an adventure. I think it sounds like fun. Things don't always have to have a serious purpose. You want to spend the day watching an ever-changing landscape? Seems legit to me. Take a midnight train going anywhere. Do it. It's not dumb at all. Take your device earbuds to listen to an audiobook or podcast as you go along. Also, dress comfortably are your trains hot or over air conditioned. If you're bored, why not do some planking? No, I've done that. It can be nice if the train has a ve. I highly recommend you do, actually. Not having anything to do can lead to depression. Sitting on the train for a couple hours is the perfect kind of novel stimuli you need to ward off dangerous boredom. My grandma once took a three-hour bus trip to Edinburgh. Ate a sandwich in the park with her friend, then got on the bus and returned home again no regrets. She often she goes on bus rides just because she likes the view and prefers them over cars for that reason. If you want to ride the train with no destination, then go for it if it were me and you have time in between trains I would still go for a walk and explore, you might be surprised at what you find. Do it, it isn't dumb, you might even discover places that you'd like to visit. Our trains is a nice subreddit to visit as well. At the destination, whatever it may be, get off the train and get food or coffee or stroll around town for a bit, just to give it a tad more purpose. Also, you might find something interesting. Give life opportunities. And that said, I like the idea. I've done that before. It's fun, highly recommended. Not dumb at all I do this all the time and it's a lot of fun. Totally go for it. Not if you're bored. Heal, you might even stumble into an adventure. I used to love doing this. I would listen to music and stare out the window, it was like one long music video. No places to go, just there for the ride. I have other hobbies now, but I did this for years and still enjoy it at some level. You can do whatever you want to do you're a grown up. If you want to go to a random city and explore and have lunch and get back on the train or go walk down to a river and see some ducks or just wander around the city. Go do whatever makes you happy. A random adventure is never a waste of time. Bored. Go for it, you got nothing else to do, it's something different and also free. Even if you don't like it after, cool, you've done it and got a new experience. Just make sure you sit on the other side on the way back so you can see what you missed out the window on part one. Trains are neat. If you are curious, make a trip out of it. You could kiosi to do something at the end if the line, like visit a museum or go to a restaurant, explore the city a bit, or not. It might not be one of those panoramic train trips those are really cool where you get to see fantastic landscapes etc. And regular trains can go through some depressing places, but voyages are always what you make of them. D. Not a dumb idea at all. My 30th birthday is in a few weeks in gonna take the Costal Starlight train from San Francisco to LA then back again. I think Geet's like a three-hour layover at Union Station it's such a gorgeous ride will be a great way to spend my B-day gonna pack some. Drinks my favorite foods. Are you Jack Reacher? Go for it. I love a good train nap. Bring some music with you and enjoy the scenery as you ride. Think about the land and the people living on it. Not at all, that sounds very nice. 
I love looking at the passing landscapes when I am on trains. Why not? Put in those earbuds and get a lil stony baloney shrug light skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. Why would it be a dumb idea? As you said, you get to pass through a bunch of cities and relax sitting on the train while gathering your thoughts, or just pass time looking out the window. Sounds like a very pleasant way to spend the day. Train safari I'm totally down for that. Not at all. Is taking a cruise dumb? What you're suggesting is exactly like a cruise, only on land. No it's not dumb, it sounds like a nice experience. Especially if it's scenic. It's a lovely idea, and you will not be alone. Many people will be thinking of you with a smile on their face that mysterious stranger from Reddit who will go on an adventure tomorrow. Who knows, maybe it's the person in front of them on the train. D. Keep that wonder and love for exploration, it's a fantastic trait to have. Perhaps you can make a small sketches of neat things you see in your journal? D. One of the best first dates of my life was meeting a woman off of a dating site at Grand Central, buying a ticket to Pauquipsipsi, looking out the window and then getting out when we got bored with sitting on the train. We turned around after that, enjoyed the trip back, and dated for six months. Do it it's fun. Do it. Do not forget to buy an ice cream at the farthest point. I did this when I was like 19, was kicked off school but didn't want my parents to know, so I acted I was still in school by leaving every morning. Then I took XTC pills since I was an addict and would ride the train from one side of the country to the other Netherlands while high AF. I would just listen to music and walk around in different cities I never visited before. Good times. It's free, it's something to do and you'll see something new. Why not? That is what leisure travel is. Going somewhere SND coming back home. It's not only the destination but the trip. Cruise trips do nothing but take you somewhere and back and you sit and enjoy the trip. And like the cruise trip if you want to get off at the city, you can. Do you walk around there and GI back Y to O the teeing and ho home. Wish I could do that. I've gone and ridden the bus up routes I don't usually travel just to explore the city a bit. Some days it's good. Some days you find out why you don't go to that side of the city and come back depressed. LOL. I'm sorry to hear that you are aboard. Best of luck with that. Fuck I'm so green-eyed about trains as an American. So there's this website called Atlas Obscura which will tell you all the offbeat with little must-sees in any town. Think world's largest waffle or hot dog bun signed by Jimmy Carter type stuff. Good way to spend some free time. I would recommend having a bit of time at your destination, like an hour maybe. This gives you time to eat lunch or something like that, stretch your legs a bit and gives you some buffer if your arrival train gets delayed on the way so you can make sure you can catch your train back. I once went to Slovenia and had nothing to do on my final day. I bought a train ticket to the farthest station and decided to ride it until I saw something that looked really interesting and just get off there. I stumbled on a gorgeous little town full of Roman ruins and medieval castles and friendly locals. One of my best travel days ever. My suggestion get off the train somewhere you've never been, walk around, get a coffee, and get back on the train. Do it we don't have free passenger trains in Canada but when I was younger. One of my hobbies was to ride the rails of the LRT in my city for a day every so often. I would buy a day pass for $5 back then and go. I found it very fun. I'd still do it but I got old and there's a lot of walking involved, and from what I hear, it's a lot more dangerous now. My friend was a train spotter and he would do this. He arranged a trip on a rare train that was on tracks around London. I joined him and his GF. I lasted an hour. The look of jealously the GF gave me when I left, 